Hey guys, how's it going? This is Not Nate Island. Welcome back to Doors Being Closed on Me. Um, Rule of Rose, sorry. So, we're here in the filth room. I'm carrying on right from last time. I'm here with Brown, and I've found a floral letter. What might this be? I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. Hmm. So she's trying to be nice to us now. She made us pass out by fucking putting a rat on a stick and shoving it in my face. I don't know if you deserve to be fucking whatever. I'm going to equip this knife. Now. I don't feel safe without it. All right, Brown, let's do this. You and me, boy. Find me the place where I can see the sky. Hmm, so, another episode, another, um, interesting turn of events. What are you boys doing? The girl tried to talk to the sloppy prince, but he wouldn't respond. What about you? The girl tried to get his attention, but the gluttonous prince ignored her. Oh, you guys are fags anyway. Let's go. to fucking get on her knees to fucking apologize to me. And what are you doing over here, little missy? Holy shit, she's small as hell. As the tearful princess stood in front of an equation on the chalkboard, she said, Mr. Hoffman is really scary when he's mad. Sub-sub. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Don't have time to deal with that shit. Well, there she fucking goes. Could have waited and let us on board. But, um, no. Obviously, the elevator has only enough weight for one person, right? Upper, I should think. We need to see the sky, right? Jesus, this place is huge. What the hell? I don't know about you, Brown, but I... I don't trust this. It feels like we're being set up. We're gonna take the fall. Oh wait, no. Brown can't follow me up here. Now I definitely don't trust this. I only feel safe with Brown. You be a good boy. If he gets kidnapped while I'm up here. It was a dark, starless night. Looking closely, you can see someone moving in the faint light. Oh, 
Fucking her. <laughs> Jennifer's just like, well, I've had enough of this shit. Oh, I was about to say, where was Brown? But there he is. Thankfully, unharmed. Um, I don't even remember where we came from. Did we come from the middle area? Heaven knows, mate. I don't think we came from this place. I think I'm gonna get back onto the elevator now. <laughs> Lower. Ooh, I have an idea of what to do as well. I am going to go to the Aristocrat Club, as they called it, and I'll find out what my next present is that I have to hand in. Wait, where are you going? I haven't told you to seek anything yet. What's going on? This is strange. I didn't tell Brown to seek. Where are you going, boy? Brown? I'll follow you, I trust you. I don't trust that fucking Amanda bitch, though. What's up with that? She's so weird. She's like... freaking bipolar. She's also a damn hunchback. The way she, like, hobbles around like Quasimodo. What's going on in here? We can't go in there. Okay. We can go in here. Why are we going in here, Brown? Oh, it's her. What do you want? <laughs> Jennifer, I have a wonderful gift. Just for you. It's almost ready, so please wait a little longer. Alrighty then. See what's like this. Hey! Okay, well, I guess I won't see what that is. But when you're not in that room, I will definitely have a look at what that is. I'd better. Uh, hey! Who's throwing things at me? Amanda and Jennifer report to the gift box at once. How the fuck did she know? Nervously, the small-hearted princess rolled her shoulders and said, Too bad, but the gift will have to wait. For now, let's wish ourselves luck, Jennifer. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, 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 I haven't forgotten yet. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna check out, for one, what you were making for me, and two, what was in that thing that you didn't want me to look at. Fuck. That's a sewing table. We have one of those. There's a small diary with a floral pattern on its cover inside the glass case. Oh. The case may be locked, but I know who it belongs to. And that would be Amanda. Because... Oh, she said be a floral letter. So it coincides with the design. Interesting. I wonder why Brown is suddenly leading me everywhere without me telling him to do so. I guess it's kind of convenient. But I wonder if it's a bug or not. Like, I haven't clicked to tell him to go anywhere. He's just... going off... this way? Why are we going in here, Brown? What do you see? What do you smell? What? 
What the fuck? What's here? What are you doing? I <laughs> Crawling on all fours, the small-hearted princess said. <laughs> Peter must be around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Please. What a gross bitch. With an icy stare, the wise-looking princess spoke to the girl. Sir Peter has run away. Jennifer and Amanda, uh, you are to find him immediately. Right, well, I guess I should go to the gift box now. I'll probably get the instruction there. The official instruction to find Sir Peter. In which I will say, you can fuck yourself. But then again, I don't think that'll work. Um, let's open the door. What? Okay, well, let's read the poster. Emergency. One horned Peter ran away. Catch him. Catch him. Okay. Then we shall leave. How the fuck am I supposed to find one horned Peter? I'm guessing I don't need this anymore. No. No, I made a mistake. Okay, remove, and then drop. Yes. I'm guessing I don't need the three-leaf key anymore. You know, I never opened the four-leaf clover door. I guess it's because I can't. I don't think I need the butterfly anymore. That was last month's thing. Nor do I need the butterfly case. Um, may as well hold on to the biscuit tin. Floral letter, the clover field. Well, the clover field was last thing as well. So we'll get rid of that. Alright, well, that's just, that's just great. That's excellent. I have no leads left. Where the fuck would Sir Peter go? Is Sir Peter? What does he do? Do you have any hints? Or are you just gonna say the same? You said the same fucking thing. Great. Very helpful. Thank you. Well, I guess all I can do is just try all the doors everywhere. Okay, not there. Well, that was a great little segue there. Oh! The sick room opens! Oh wait, actually, I think I remember it opening. Wait, who's that? The lonely princess spoke nervously while suppressing her cough. <coughs> Mr. Bunny is gone! <coughs> well, yep. Mr. Bunny is gone. That's the truth. That door's locked. Seriously. What the hell is wrong with Sir Peter? Fucking running away. Well, I cannot get in um, there. Uh, what? Uh, uh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Useless brat! Um, uh, 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 yeah. What the fuck is happening in there? <laughs> He's tied up. How is that information useful for me? I don't think it is very useful for me. I don't think I can do anything with that information. So in that case, I'll just pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> what is here? Nothing. Dang it. Thankfully, there aren't that many doors on this floor. Oh, I can go in the VIP room. Great. 
Oh, well, hello. Who are you? The strong-willed princess snorted and commanded. Now hurry up and go find him. It's time for you peons to work. <laughs> Dawdle too long and Amanda will beat you to him. Right. I highly doubt that. Amanda is looking through books to find a person, which is very logical. This must be her room. She gets the best room ever. My room is the freaking filth room, man. Okay, there's definitely nothing on this floor anymore. Maybe I might get a cutscene if I leave this place. Should I be graced with one or be lucky enough to get it? Wait a minute, what's this? I've never been in here before, I don't think. The salon? I don't remember this. Oh, who are you? The cold princess spoke to the girl in an even, emotionless tone. Peter should not be out of his cage. What the fuck? What's this bird doing? Okay. Peter should not be out of his cage. Is that a hint? Is that a clue? Maybe I go to the caged area, and then I'll find something on the floor that will let Brown find him. Aha! I have a lead. One lead to go on. It's all I have. Well, you, may, you might give me something. The impetuous princess bustled about complaining. Peter smells like poo. He's so stinky I don't want to touch him. Stinky, stinky, go away. Well, that's not really much of a lead, but at least I know that he doesn't smell nice. Now, where the fuck am I gonna find him? Oh man, I've got no idea. Oh crap, I can go through here. I was hoping that it would be locked. Engine 4 maintenance. Oh man. Where am I going? <laughs> what is this? What is this place? This place is weird. This place is dark. Dark and dank. Well, I think I like the way that this game works in that you usually can't go through a door until the game wants you to, so maybe maybe this is where I'm meant to go. Or at least maybe I might find a, a lead, something to go on. Or maybe it'll just be a fucking dead end. None of these are doors. Excellent. And here I was, hoping to find a way. But unfortunately, that was rather presumptuous of me. Hmm, is there seriously nothing that I can use to find him right now? Meh, let's go with this. Go. Wait a minute, you're just gonna take me to the fucking library, aren't you? No. No, Brown. I, I changed my mind. I don't want to go that way. Where the hell is Peter? Well, I guess if they knew the answer to that, then I wouldn't be looking for him. <gasps> What's that? What the fuck? It's a rabbit! What are you doing? You went into the filth room? Oh, fuck! Christ! I kind of looked down at the time to see how long the recording was going for, and when I looked up, he was there. Whew! <sighs> Joshua, I've written a new story for you. Oh, fuck. That fucking got me. That got me good. That was... That got me because I wasn't looking at the screen. I was like, how long has this been recording for? Who the hell is Joshua? Ok, 
Okay, so I guess he left me some clues. Oh, yes. Two leads. Peter's droppings. Bag contains black pellets that are spread across the floor. Is Peter a fucking rabbit? One horned prince? I don't think so. What's this? I found Sir Peter. Oh, is this the latest book? Oh, it is. Alright, let's do it. Sir Peter, Sir Peter went out for a stroll. Sir Peter, Sir Peter put in a cage, had to hold it in. Sir Peter, Sir Peter needs to go right now, doesn't want to sin. Sir Peter, Sir Peter bagged and whisked away before he found a toilet. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye. Looks like those little... Hey! Hey! What the fuck? Wait a minute! But... But you were right there. We could have captured him. Dang nabbit. Alright. Well guys, I'm all out of time for this episode anyway, so... I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I really hope that you're enjoying this series. It really is interesting, and I'm really enjoying it, so... I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload, so... Stay tuned for more. Okay.